Hey y'all, it's Craig with With the Bickums. Uh, today y'all, we're going to be doing a, starting a series of four bow tutorials. <clears throat> I did it all at one time. Uh, felt like I needed to break it up into four. That way everybody could pick and choose maybe which bow style they wanted to look at today. Uh, plus keep the videos a little shorter. So you can take your choice. Uh, these are the four bows that we're going to be making in the series. So I, I did two patriotic bows. This one actually is, this is the hand bow that I made just by hand. So it's a, all of these are going to be pretty in depth y'all and very good tutorials showing you how I do it. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and y'all take your pick on which one that you like. Let me know which type bows that you like to make. So we have the Patriotic here is our going to be our first one. This was actually the last. This is a very full uh, inch and a half, one solid color, 20 loops. Uh, makes a super cute bow, y'all. Super cute. <clears throat> we had the purple or light lavender. Very good for a... Uh, very similar style just a little bit different shape on all of them and once they lay you can kind of see all the four inch ribbon behind it so i hope y'all enjoy all of these if you do uh, please let us know give us a thumbs up on each video let me know which bow that you like the best <clears throat> and please let me know that you enjoyed the videos these are this is another little uh, cute uh, patriotic bow that i did so I think this is actually going to be video number one. This will be video number two. Video number three. Welcome. And welcome to video number four. I hope you all enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to our With the Bickham's channel. Check us out on all of our social media platforms, y'all. We're everywhere. We're on the FBTT. Uh, right here on YouTube, uh, on the gram. So y'all please give us a follow and a subscribe at all of our uh, social media channels. Thank y'all. Hope you enjoy the videos, y'all. All right. So now we're gonna we're gonna stay with the the patriotic theme, but I'm gonna do something that I haven't done in a long time, and I'm gonna make a hand bow. With the hand bows, especially with this much ribbon and with the four inch ribbon, we're not doing as many loops. We're basically going to do one loop of four. Uh, probably going to do one loop of the uh, two and a half. Two loops of the blue and back to one loop on the top. If you take your time, it's a little hard on the hands. Uh, but you can get it. You just have to, you know, take your time. And the more you do these, uh, naturally, the faster you get. Uh, it's just one of them things. Now, I'm going to stick my ribbon. Let's see. I'm going to use my bow maker to hold the spool. And I'm probably going to work. Uh, you know what? I'm going to work from my left side because that's kind of what I'm used to doing. So kind of make things, you know, kind of make things try to work for you if you can. Uh, normally, if I'm doing this here and I'm making a hand bow I'm probably going to throw this uh, spool on the floor you know just say it just going to throw it on the floor and let it go uh, but for this video I'm going to do it just like this so we're just going to dovetail uh, now let me show y'all since we have a big uh, a big ribbon here let's see if we can get now sometimes this ribbon let me show y'all a little trick sometimes this big four inch ribbon if it's not a really heavy ribbon it'll try to fold in on you you know so one way to combat that is whenever you cut your dovetail don't cut so high of a 45 let it lay more of a flat 45 you know just a slight dovetail and that will help keep that from folding in as much you know, just a little tidbit smart lady told me that smart lady miss regina sellers told me that all right so same concept y'all uh the bow maker you got your tails going out one way and you know where you you 
your sticks was at. So that's where you're gonna, uh, you know, have your stack, which you're gonna have to make your stack yourself. So I can kind of measure here. Let's go to 30. Uh, so we're gonna still stay about a 12. So I'm just gonna go at 12, and I'm just gonna accordion that up across the middle, just like so. Now y'all know whenever we go in, we twist, all right? So it's strictly up to you on which way you twist. I'm just gonna use my hand again, and I'm gonna twist it like so, and we're just gonna make our loop. Now, when I start doing this, you gotta hold it in one hand. So I'm gonna hold it in my left hand. I'm gonna be all up under, so pull you enough out. Make sure that that stays together, though. This four inch ribbon's different. Now we can go a little bit bigger on the loops with the four inch. And you're just gonna kinda do the same thing. I like, y'all, my OCD won't let me not measure. I don't know why. It's just the way I am. So I'm gonna try to stay uh, about a seven inch. You know, we're gonna stay around that seven, seven and a half inch. So we're just gonna accord in across right here. And now we've got a little, we've got our little loop here. And I just kinda, you could just put it down in there between your thumb and your forefinger now that we kinda got something going on here. And you're gonna twist again. So it don't really matter. I always twist toward me. And now we get to make that next loop. Oh, you are. So pull you plenty of slack. This is what I do. When I do this, y'all, I can't just keep my hand one way. So I turn it. I just, I'm, I'm constantly turning it back and forth and just doing what I have to do to make it work. So, and what I do here is I might accordion it up halfway, just a little bit, just kind of pick you a place to scrunch up and it, get it started. Leave it loose, and then I kind of hold them up so I can get them together. It's not going to look perfect. I can't do all the accordion and stuff. Well, but you want to pull up on those rabbit ears and make sure that they're kind of, kind of, sort of the same. And now I can kind of, you know, make things kind of work out. And then we decide about how long a tail we want on that other side. It is, it does take practice, which is basically what I'm kind of out of. I haven't done these, like I said, in a, in a while. This one needs a little bit more, just a little bit more. And now I'm gonna cut it off. Uh, we're gonna go a little bit shorter. I think what I'm gonna wind up doing is I'm gonna come back and dovetail because now I mean once you get started you can't let go so it's kind of like one of them things uh, you can't do a bunch of stuff at one time because now you got this thing all in your hands so we got our one loop see if I can get all this rolled up y'all and I know a lot of y'all that do it the same way throw these things on the floor uh, let them just run wild so you get you plenty of uh, plenty of slack and so on and so forth now this is the Uncle Sam ribbon with the hat so now we kinda got y'all kinda see what we're working with you kinda just got your your two big loops and you got your two tails we'll come back and we'll dovetail him when I ain't got a hole nut so now we're gonna go in with a, a two and a half and you don't have to I said you don't have to put it on here I'm not gonna dovetail anymore again so I'm just gonna lay it on there, and I'm gonna see how far. I'm gonna pull it, and I'm gonna kind of fold it in there. He's good about right there, and I'm gonna turn it. Well, and I'm gonna twist, and I'm gonna make my loop. And because we're, we're only gonna do one of these, and we're gonna shorten him up just a little bit too. So you just kind of got to pull with while holding all this stuff all together. Go a little bit more, just a little bit. 
Now these you don't have to, if you want to just use a Chanel stem just to tie these together, you absolutely can. I'm going to see if I can get the, uh, and then we're going to twist again. Because we got to have that, we got to have the loop, you know, go back to the same side that it was supposed to be on. I'm going to just grab, make sure that they kind of sort of together. And I'm just going to kind of pinch it all together right there in the middle. Open up. And we're just going to kind of guesstimate our length. And we're going to cut it off. Like the heart got it right there. Uh. And the more ribbon I get in my hand, the less I'm going to be able to grab. So just let everything kind of run, run long, run wild. Now we're going to go to this royal blue raised stitched. The same thing. I just kind of work from this side. Kind of guess. I get everything in there again. And doesn't matter what side. Just work where you can twist. Just make it work so you can put your loops. Now we're going to do two loops of this one. So we're going to kind of stay pulling me plenty of slack out y'all plenty plenty of slack we're gonna grab a hope twist put it back together make sure we shorten up a little bit make sure they the same and then we're gonna twist again make another one and they're pretty close Twist one more time. All oh, my allergies are done getting bad, y'all. Make sure that one's about the same. Run it down in there as well. Kind of get you an eyeball on your length. Kind of see the lines I want. And cut it off. Alright, so now I'm going to kind of work with it before I get that last. Uh, Make sure I got everything kind of the lengths that I want. Make sure that everything looks all right. And we got the last one. We're going to bring that Uncle Sam ribbon back to the top in the inch and a half. And we're going to twist. Pinch it up and twist it around. Now this one's just going to be one, so we're going to go a little shorter, a little bit more, and we're going to twist, and we're going to get our last loop. Now these are going to make a you know they're kind of like a, a long and slender bow uh, they look totally different than coming out of that bow maker they just do uh, I mean I'm definitely partial to the bow maker but if you ever been if you're scared of these and you, you haven't tried it just get you some ribbon you can you can make these things y'all then you can cut them uh, take them apart or whatever you want to do. Alright, so now we got everything together. So you just have to decide whether or not you're going to tie it together with just a Chanel stem or you're going to use a zip tie. Remember, if you use that zip tie, we got to have this in the bottom. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the Chanel stem in and then I'm going to tie with the zip tie. I just like the zip tie as me. They just like to hold better for my taste. But you're going to have to roll that down to the bottom. And then start pulling it together. So now I can kind of, I can kind of halfway, oh, I missed him. Let's say I can kind of halfway to let go. But I missed my little hole, y'all. I missed my little hole. 
But that's why we don't tighten him down yet. Get in there. So just get it underneath the zip tie in the bottom. Pull it about halfway. I'm going to roll the zip tie in. Now I'm going to still try to make sure that my stack kind of stays straight. Make sure all that ribbon's at least on top of each other. Like so. And then you can tighten up. That one's a little longer. And then we're gonna snug it up. Now this is it's gonna work the same way, except alright. Let's go back and let's do our little uh before we start fluffing. Let's do our dovetails we got that one dovetail we're gonna get him dovetail and you don't have to dovetail them if you don't want to you can cut them at an angle you can just cut them at an angle cut them off he's dovetailed and we got one more on this side oh, we got two more now, I'm gonna, I'll show y'all with a piece of ribbon when I do the other dovetails. Right, so that one's done. He's done. I got these to do right here. So I just fold it together. Just fold it together, y'all, and go at a 45 with the wire in my left hand because I'm right-handed. Now, you can wait and do this on your project if you want just wait and, and cut it in 45 it once it's on uh, whatever you're putting it on if that's what you want to do and you can uh, it, with this kind of bow I would probably wait and fluff it once I got it tied on as well because you can put it in there you're going to kind of smash it and these are some big loops so whenever you put it on something uh, kind of the same way. We want to see some of this four inch. We want to see some of this two and a half. So you got these big tails. Uh, you may have to work up against that zip tie a little bit to make sure everything's open. But we got the big tails. You got to go. You poking me. The big loop. Let's let him. I'm gonna let him just keep falling just like that. Let him go to one side. And these we're going to open across same way. That way you can see that USA ribbon between them. And then we've got this one going this way. And then you got your last one in the middle right there. But they work the same way. And you want to still follow your uh, your pattern on the bottom. So if you've got whichever way your tails are on that side, keep your tails that way. All right. So we got our our loops over here, tails over here, loops in the middle, tails kind of in the middle. this way just keep those tails kind of across from one another so it's the same concept either way except these like I said this is a really big bow I mean it just is where'd that tail there you are. and the last one so it kind of works the same way not quite as neat as the bow maker is but they still look good and they, these are more of an elongated so they're real kind of long so when they hang so when they hang down and then you got everything you got that that big ribbon from the back starts to come through uh, you know like so on and so forth and it's got bigger loops on it but it's still a pretty bow especially in a big wreath we put these in a big wreath uh, they make a statement. 
if you've never made the hand bows just give them a try and make sure you're using some pretty decent ribbon if you're using some pretty decent ribbon uh, once you get your hand mo movement and you keep doing it over and over and over it's kind of just like muscle memory uh, just like playing a sport and and you'll you'll eventually like I said I haven't made one in a long time and I can still make them pretty good you know so there's number two down so we have the two patriotics done and let's 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 kind of compare a little bit and you can tell how much bigger but you can still tell how they look they still look similar they're similar but they're different you know it's just this one has a a few more loops than this one does you know so I hope y'all enjoyed making the hand bow with me today uh, these kind of intimidate me a little bit because I don't do it as much uh, but it's very doable very uh it's like muscle memory like playing any kind of sport the more you do it the better you get at it uh, they're they work in multiple projects as well so I hope that you enjoyed uh, how I make my hand bows today if you did give me a thumbs up if you got some uh, value from this video and please don't forget to subscribe to our with the Bickham's channel and we'll see y'all in the next video